Hmm. Welcome, pupils, to the first official Sensei Ledoux Let's Play of sorts. Today, I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3. Now, before you ask, I will not be playing it on my Nintendo Switch. Not because it doesn't exist, but because that thing started to heat up pretty badly. And I don't want any smoke alarms going off during the recording. But I digress. Anyway, enough blabbering on! Let's get to it! Without further ado, let us begin by creating a new game. And of course, I will be skipping the cutscene because I've already seen it. Who are you? Sensei Ledoux, at your service. And I need no introduction. Well, let's see. I shall be playing the Dark Urge, first of all. As my race, I will be playing a human. For my class, I shall do a paladin as requested by my pupils. Subclass. Well, let's leave it at Oath of the Ancients. As you can see, the description says, You fight on the side of the light in the cosmic struggle against darkness to preserve the sanctity of life and the beauty of nature. Well, that sounds a lot like what I do, battling demons in my real life. And my background is the haunted one. Okay, let's go ahead and edit my appearance. First of all, body type. This looks a bit better. Now let's edit my appearance. I'll go with this face. Let's hear the voice. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? That sounds exactly like me. How foreign to us. Let's hear that again. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Pupils, I give you my word, I did not record audio for Larian. It appears they have a pretty good imitator, though. Hmm. And my skin tone, I shall be neutral tone, too. I don't have any scars, let's see. Body art, no. Eyes, I'll go with blue. I think that looks about right. Let's go and lock that in. I don't wear makeup. Here. Let's see. I'll go for something simple. Hmm. Where the hell is it? Ah. That'll do. And we'll just change the shade. Ah. Last but not least, facial hair. Yeah, it seems they don't have a great selection of neck beards, but I'll go ahead and select the chin groove of sorts. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let us proceed! Yeah, change that name. Now, let us proceed. Ah, guardian. Oh, guardian of sorts. Let's go with a... Uh, Mm hmm, lady. I don't think that this particular milady requires any edits. I'm sure you'll agree. Mm hmm. Let us venture forth. Oh, another cinematic, which of course I should be skipping because I've seen it already. If you haven't. Well, you should have played it for yourself. Fuck you! Hmm. Where am I? I shall take this opportunity to refill my goblet. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. Oh. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Hm. I think you're wrong. 
the one who's gonna bring the danger around here. Yes, first whoever did this to me. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. <laughs> yes, we shall slay whoever has wronged me. Now yeah, let's have a look around. Someone else. Interesting. It appears someone else has escaped. Nursery of sorts. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. For those of you who've never seen the cutscene, they put a goddamn worm in my eye. Anyway, let's investigate. Ah, crud! Critical failure of sorts. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Hm. Ah, I'll leave. Let's see here. Perhaps some loot is on this body. Ah, an onyx of sorts. Dead. Good. Good. Like the other survivors. Yes, I believe there might. Ah, restoration. Actually, I don't need that right now. Let's go in the sphincter of sorts. <laughs> well, let's have a look around here. Ah, goblin. Perhaps some more loot may be obtained. Ah, two gold. Brain jar. Huh. Say goodnight. Who said that? Perhaps I'll attack this one, too. Ah, oh, crud, okay. I'll leave the brains alone for now. What do we have here? Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. Well, it is the way of a paladin to expectation. help the needy. Yes. Before they return, they return. Am I talking to a man or brain? Well, I think it's quite obvious I'm talking to a brain. Why are you afraid? The enemy. So many enemies. Let's see. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Hmm. Well, I'll just use my strength to break the skull open. Ah, crap! Another failure. You see that? The skull holds fast. Well, that would not happen in real life. Ah, oh, the only other option appears to be... Who am I talking to? Well... A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. I can only destroy the brain or leave. Just leave. Doesn't do anything. Ah, crap. I'm gonna use this moment to make sure I'm actually recording. I recorded for 10 minutes a moment ago, and I wasn't even recording anything. Anything but my face, that is. Okay, it appears to be working correctly. Ah, 
dragons! Your round drops and your skin tingles. Visions rush past a dragon swing, a silver sword, ah! and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Who is this foul wench? What is this? Squaw, you are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together. We might survive. Ah, uh, mayhaps. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Tainted? In days, we will be geek. Mind flayers. Well, mayhaps she doesn't know that I'm already tainted. <laughs> well, what do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. <laughs> Gladly! We'll just the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Let's get to it! Those imps are gonna be dust! Slam with my Warhammer of sorts. Yay, let's see. I'll move a little bit closer. Divine Sense. Gain advantage on attack rolls against Celestial Fiends and the Undead. Well, I'm going to enable this ability. I will ascend. Well, let's see what you can do, wench. Let my name be known. <laughs> ah, pathetic. Ah, crud. <laughs> nice try, kiddo. Now say goodnight. Who's next? Swift as my feet can carry me. Ah, well struck, wench. Well, I'd be ashamed not to loot these imps. Ah, restoration of sorts. Uh, I feel better. Good point we able to take another dragon attack. More loot! Outboard to it! Ah, <laughs> uh, I gotta go through another sphincter. Well, I guess you can see that this stinks! Well, what do we have here? Cave machinery. I can make no sense of it. Well, allow me to make sense of this. Rock crud. Well, what do we have over here? Oh. Let me out! You! Get me out of this town city! Ah, oh, hello, milady! No time for stragglers. Actually, I think I want to see what this particular milady has to say. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This we'll see about that. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Oh, look around. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Oh, 
that do anything? The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Ah, an empty socket of sorts. Perhaps I'll hit it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Yeah, it appears I gotta find something to shove in this hole. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, crud. The hell! What do you think you're doing? Yeah, perhaps I'll just attack this particular chest open. The way of the brute! Ah, crud! Well, let's have a look at this. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a good Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Hmm. I will be having that. Brain in a jar. Let's see what's in this sphincter. Ah, golden key. Doubtless that will be used to open the chest that I was just striking a moment ago. How many hosts of these gay infected dazed woman is trapped inside the pod? She doesn't notice you. Well, it appears she may be past saving. Some more loot. Those controls next to the pod. Ah, interesting. I'll be having that. And a couple more potions. How or to it? Well, let's see if we can get this lady free from her cage of sorts. The console appears dormant. I will insert a rune the of sorts. Comes to life. I'll take a closer look. Ah! How fortuitous! How time my luck changed. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Hmm. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Mayhaps indeed. And I'll place my hand on the console. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. Ah! The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I will use my lifted wisdom to open the pod. Process your command and yield to it. Open sesame of sorts. Your mind. You feel sated. Ah, oh, milady. Much ah. Oh. Piers, I must be a white knight and save this milady. At last. Since you do at your service. Going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Mm. You feel her gratitude, but also guardedness, and above all, a will to survive. Interesting. Ah, my head. I'm getting out of here. Follow me if you can keep up. Trust me, I'll keep up. Hmm. Well. All right, let's go. I'm Sensei Ledoux. Shadowheart. One moment. The hell is that contraption? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. Well said, She's wench. Right. Lead on. 
To the helm! Fear these people are gas saving. Oh, I forgot to go to that chest. Hmm. To the sphincter. Ah, crud, another sphincter. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Actually, I think you'll find I'm in charge. Follow me, ladies. Demons. Need to refill my cup. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. Yeah, we'll no draw. We well, okay, let's see here. What do we have here? Some lesser hells for. I think you can take me on. <laughs> Pathetic. I should have used that first. Ah, oh, crud. It does it. Ah. Uh. Al Fortunus, wench. My faith will protect me. Milady, slay the boar. Hard, strike fast. Crud. Nice try. As you can see, my reflexes are vastly superior. Best be on my way. Let us rush to the towards the console. It appears this wench has her uses. Let's finish this. Well, dash forth, Shadow Heart. Got to press on. With haste. Haste indeed. <sighs> Hurry before they strike. Yeah, I'm trying. Shut your pie hole. My path be true. Just in range. Mm. Fighting. Got to move. Shadow Heart, use guiding bolt. <laughs> Say good night. Let's see what abilities I have. Ah, they're all just healing. Well, here's a, it's not like me in real life. Told you my reflexes are vastly superior. Make way. Oh, I'd be shame if we didn't loot these on the way. Can't afford to let up. Let me strike true. Strike true, Shadow Heart. Him. Now to the transponder of sorts. The helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. Hmm. Well, 
could slay that dragon if I wanted to. here. Have I been successful? I believe we all knew the true answer to that question. these guys <laughs> well trust some pathetic goblins to hear a bit of commotion come running doubtless I'll have to strike them down what are you looking at ah oh, crud What an epic cliffhanger of sorts! Well, I suppose you're wondering what happens next. Well, pupils, you'll just have to tune in to part two to find out. Will Sensei gather his allies, or will he fall victim to this dark urge of sorts? Well, I guess only time will tell. Well, let me know what you thought in the comments, and make sure to leave a like!